fans. As you already know, I'm Scam Talkington of Scam Talkington Enterprises. And boy, do I have some good news for you that is going to make your boring and unbearable lives a little more tolerable. I mean, if that's at all possible anyways. <laughs> I, your beloved Scam Talkington, have dipped my toe into the world of medical research. And due to the fact that my brain is like a super giant supercomputer, I have found the cures for some of the biggest problem commoners like you have had to live with. What problems, you ask? Cancer? Heart attacks? Hell no! None of those silly and unimportant ones, you medical-minded morons! I have found cures for some of the most undesirable medical problems in the USA. What might that you ask? What else, you dummies? Cosmetics! You know, cosmetic surgery! I'm talking cosmetic medi medicine to enhance your image and your beauty. Can't get a date because your nose is too big? With one simple pill from Dr. Scam Talkington's, yeah, I got a cure for that. Can't keep a girl when you get one because your penis is too small? Dr. Scam's got a cure for that one too. So now, without further ado, we're going to take you over to Scam Talkington's medical research facilities where you will meet all three of my patients who have been cured of their debilitating cosmetic disasters by ingesting my newly discovered Scam Talkington cosmetic recovery pills. Scam Talkington's research facility. And very soon I'm going to introduce you to my very first patient via satellite that I have cured with my newly developed cosmetic miracle pills. You will meet Mary Bubble Boobs, who came to me because her breasts were way too big. And believe you me, when I say way too big, that's an understatement. While working with Mary, I too had a personal breakthrough. And that was when I first began my cosmetic research, I noticed that I was only able to focus on one thing at a time. But believe it or not, while I was examining Mrs. Bubble Boobs, I found out for the first time that I was able to focus on two things at once. Isn't that great? Thank you. Now here's a picture of Mary before she began taking a prescription of my newly discovered milk of Procure that I call Memory 86 Boob Reduction. When taken as subscribed one day, these miracle pills will begin to reduce your breast size. All you have to do is take one a day until you get to your desired breast size. I'm Dr. Scam and I guarantee it. Thank you. Now let's join Mary Bubble Boobs via satellite for a little quid pro quo. First of all, thanks for joining us, Mary Bubble Boobs. And please take a moment to share with our audience how your life was before you came to Scam Talkington's Cosmetic Research Laboratories. Mary, can you give them an idea what it was like going through life with what had to be the equivalent of a Volkswagen bug hanging from your chest? Go ahead. Thank you for having me, Dr. Scam. <laughs> Excuse me for not saying you're full title, but after all of the time you and I spent in the examining room alone, I think I'm entitled. <laughs> First of all, let me begin by saying that living with gargantuan breasts is a living nightmare. When I was in high school, the other students tortured me on a daily basis. They used to call my boobs the Siamese twins because they look like two extra, entire extra human beings growing out of my chest. Oh, Lord. And everywhere you go, every man, woman, and child, they look at you like you're some kind of a circus freak. Hell, I felt like the elephant woman every time I would go to the mall or public bathroom. And even when you're by yourself, it just constantly, I mean, it just constantly tortures the the heck out, out of you, you know? For instance, when I would eat dinner at home, food items, yeah, actually, food items would fall right into my bra. <laughs> Can you believe that shit? Because I didn't have much room to move my arms, you know? It's... <clears throat> uh-huh. Well, all that booby blubber in the way. One time, I tell you, one time, <laughs> I dropped the pee and in it went right into my bra okay and i didn't find that sucker for over six months until <laughs> believe it or not a vine started growing out of my fucking bra can you believe that shit <sighs> oh scary shit i tell you doc you see that my fans out there that's a before and after picture of mary bubble boobs you see dr scam talking miracle pills really do work as you can now see, 
big boobs mean big problems. And when you come here to Scam Talkington's Cosmetic Research Lab, we can set you straight too. For the low down price of $50,000 in unmarked bills, we will send you four memory 86 miracle boob reduction pills with a handwritten guarantee attached to it from me, Dr. Scam Talkington. Thank you. So send your wads of cash, no checks or money orders, please, to Dr. Scam Talkington at P.O. Box 86, Las Vegas, Nevada. And now on to our next cure patient. And that would be Lenny the Lobe Lahandro. Lenny, when you came to me at Scam Talking and Enterprises, you were a lost soul. Due to your grossly oversized ears, you were the target of ridicule from the time you hit kindergarten until the day you came to me and I cured you. Give our audience a little background on what it was like living with ears. ears. <sighs> okay, Dr. Talkington. It was truly awful. I was the object of ridicule for as long as I can remember. From early grade school, I remember the kids picked on me, but my ears were so big that even the teachers took their turn. I had one history teacher who would always rub my ass when I couldn't, when I couldn't remember any answer by saying in front of the entire class, what's the matter? I thought the elephants never forget. And anytime something got out, that people were trying to keep the secret, I will always get the blame for letting it out because everyone just figured that because the size of my ears, I had to be the one who overheard it. Now let me ask you this. Before my miracle cure pills downsize your gargantuan ears, how was your love life, I mean, with the ladies? Did you get much sack time at all? Let us know. For a brief period of time, I was getting some sack time around the age of 18. I was betting with slew of girls. These girls were close friends, and at the time I was betting one after the other. But it wasn't hitting third base, if you know what I mean. No, I really don't know what you mean, Lenny. What you're trying to say is you were betting them, but you weren't having intercourse. Is, is that correct? Exactly, Dr. Tolkienton. I was not having intercourse. They were letting me go down on them. Well, that was all fine and dandy until I found out that they were only doing it with me for the novelty of hanging on to my huge ears while they had orgasms. I found out afterwards though, for them it was kind of like riding a mechanical bull. But instead of a bull, it was the Dumbo elephant from Disney. And they called it riding Dumbo. I tell you, Dr. Scam, that crushed me, and that's when I came to see you, and you fixed me. Well, there you have it. Another cosmetic problem tackled by Scam Talking to the Labs. And now on to our final interview of the night, and this one is a doozy. I have found in my quest of finding cures for all cosmetic problems plaguing the common man, the problem of a tiny penis is really the hardest to fix of all. And with that said, I would now like to take the opportunity to introduce you to a man who suffered from tiny penis syndrome, or... EPS. That is until he came to see me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet Peter Pickle Penis. <laughs> Peter, I would like you to take a few moments now and describe what life was like with a tiny penis. What it was like for you. How it affected things like love, marriage, and children, and stuff like that. And even high school showers. Go ahead, Peter, take it away. Give us a little insight. Well, Dr. Scam. Uh, it's a rather melancholy tale, but it, it needs to be told. Oh, here goes. I never realized that I had a tiny penis syndrome until I reached the seventh grade. We were forced to take showers after gym with our classmates, and that's when the nightmare began. When I first walked naked into the showers and looked around, the first thing I thought were, what are all these little appendages that are hanging from all my fellow students' groin area? Because my penis at that point had not yet become external, like a turtle in its shell. When the, when the other students noticed my groin area, they all started laughing at me and calling me Little Peterless Peter, which later became much more creative, Little Peterless Pickle Penis. And I gotta tell you, Dr. Scam, it really hurt. So I dropped out of school and got a job working as a janitor at a nudist colony. And that worked out fine until one day I decided I wanted to walk around nude just like the rest of the men. And almost immediately a terrible rumor spread around the camp that I was not a man after all. Because of my TPS, 
I don't believe that was a woman with an oversized clitoris. Oh, the shame, Dr. Scam. Oh, I drifted away from that job, and I was rudderless for a while. And then I, I met a woman, and I fell in love, and we decided we wanted a child together. But after a few months of trying to get pregnant, and we had no success, we, we went to the doctor and he did the research on both of us and he figured out why we couldn't have a child. He said that my TPS, my tiny penis, was so severe that when I ejaculated, my sperm cells, they were just too far away from the egg to get it there without dying of fatigue. I needed marathon sperm and these were little sprinters. The distance was too much for my little baby sperms to make it. That was the straw that broke the camel's back, and, and Doc, that's when I went to see you, Dr. Scam. Yes, you did, Peter, and it's a good darn thing that you did. So tell us, how is your sex life now that you visited Scam Talkington's laboratories? Is there any difference? Tell my crowd. Oh, and how. I am getting more ass than a toilet seat. I even have prostitutes ban me to ride on this dick. They're borrowing money from their pimps to have sex with me! <laughs> I don't know why anyone with cosmetic problems wouldn't go to Scam Talkington Enterprises. Because, look, you fix your life. Look at me. I get more pussy than the Humane Society. <laughs> ah. That's right. People, you heard of the man. So come on down to Scam Talkington's laboratories and let me fix you up proper. I don't care what's the matter with you. If your big toe's too big, or your little toe's a little too small, or your butt's too small, or your ears are too big, I will formulate a pill for you. Come on down! <laughs>